I am so pumped to be talking about today's questions. It is one of my favorite ones. Well, I'm glad to hear it, my dude. It's always great and interesting to hear someone discuss a topic that gets them excited. And I can only assume that because you are so into it, you will know lots about it and won't say anything, I don't know, extremely stupid that will make you sound like a goddamn fool. Because that never, ever happens all the time. And I'm going to share my secret weapon with you, so hang on to your hats for that. Ooh, a secret weapon. Well, I can't wait. Oh, no. My hat's gone. The hat that I always wear in every video. It's not there anymore and I can't find it. The most basic instruction you gave me and I failed you already. Now I'll never know your amazing super secret weapon that's not dumb. Oh, and no, this is a helmet, dumbass. Of course I haven't lost that. It's permanently attached to my face, as all helmets should be. And we'll get into it, but let's look at how to witness to an atheist. Oh, f no, 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 not that. That's just the worst thing that you can do, because it's always so dumb. I have never met an apology boy that successfully witnessed to an atheist without resorting to really silly or underhanded tactics, or basically just had a conversation with themselves whilst ignoring everything else that the other guy says, often all of the above. And don't even get me started with the false assumptions. It's exhausting. Please stop. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to share my secret weapon with you on this from the Bible that I think is really going to change the way you approach atheists, but... Your secret weapon is from the Bible? What a surprising surprise. But I have some bad news for you, buddy boy. The Bible is demonstrably full of nonsense. Many atheists know this, so anything that you do that is based solely on the Bible is going to come off as painfully out of touch with your target audience. So, you know. Also, if the change is anything other than don't approach atheists using the Bible, probably don't. If you came here looking for help, you're trying to witness to an atheist, I'm glad you're here. Let's talk about it. Well, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just here to see if you say something stupid, and when you do, I mean, if you do, I will make some constructive criticism on those ideas. Just kidding, of course I'm going to make fun of you in the hopes that you'll be so embarrassed by your silliness that you will actually think about the things you say before saying them next time. Also, as an athe-blab, the things you say are intended to be said to me eventually by some other person, so why don't we just cut out the middle dipshit and go straight to the source? So, jumping right into this, an atheist is someone that doesn't believe there is a god. That is the definition of an atheist. Well, close enough, although that's more the conclusion rather than what the person is actually doing. In general, it's more about the claims of other people being lacking. There are a lot of god claims out there, and there has yet to be one that I have heard and thought to myself, you know what? That explains everything way better than all those science shit we've been doing up till now. I will believe this instead. I think that's mostly because God's a shit explanation for basically anything. But let me tell you something that you need to understand going into. And I don't suggest you start a conversation with this. If you wouldn't start a conversation with a particular point, well, what's the betting it's because it's a f***ing terrible point and you can only chuck it in later on once you have them off guard thinking that you're some kind of reasonable person. When in fact you are actually just a moron who's been waiting for an opportunity to say something stupid. But it's knowledge that you need to interpret this well. Knowledge that you need to interpret the atheists. Well, I hope it's something along the lines of all atheists are different, have different lives and journeys to become who they are today, instead of some sort of one thing that you can do to trick, I mean convince them into believing your bullshit is never going to work. Because that's not how people work. And then realize he has a secret weapon from the Bible, so that's definitely not where he's going with this. First of all, as I like to tell people, the A in atheist stands for angry. Here's the thing. And there it is, all this quirky presentation with nicey, nicey, affable nature hide the heart of a giant f***ing dickhead. And no, that's not me being angry about this, I'm just stating facts cold as ice. Because no, no it doesn't. I mean, are there angry atheists? Yeah, no shit there are angry fucking everything. Here's a list of the top careers for laid back people, and tell me you haven't met a forever knocked off one of at least a couple of these. 
And of course, there are plenty of very angry theists. It's weird. You would think that someone with God on their side wouldn't need to be so pissy all the time. So yeah, and most of the angry atheists are annoyed because dumbasses can't help but constantly say stupid shit about them. No one doesn't believe there's a God. Case in point, what are you actually talking about? No one. No one. Are you f***ing stupid? Are you actually incapable of imagining a human being that has come to the conclusion that all these people with various nonsensical explanations of the universe are all full of shit and perhaps their fundamental notion is flawed and there is in fact probably not an all power or otherwise boy calling the shots. Or perhaps that they have never been presented with the idea of divine chaps and so never came to that conclusion. I mean, there are spiritualities that have existed for a really goddamn long time that are earnest attempts to understand the universe that are entirely void of any god concept. Do you think they're just lying? Or perhaps ignored their according to you very firm belief that there is a god? Yeah, no, that's fucking dumb. In fact, this is why we don't have anti-leprechaun or anti-unicorn clubs. No, you absolute jackass. The reasons there are atheists, which are in fact distinct as a basic concept from anti-theists, but fuck it, let's include them anyway, because why not? The reason you have either of those things is because, right? Come here. C come on. A little closer, that's right. It's okay. I'm not gonna bite. It's because theists fucking exist, you absolute giga fuckwit. No one is opposed to a god they think exists. They are opposed, at least philosophically, to the people who think and say and do things specifically because they think that god exists. What the hell is wrong with you? Seriously, you need to spend more time actually learning about what the hell it is you are talking about instead of tending to that frankly luscious beard because oh my god I want to get lost in its beardy goodness. Wait what was I saying? Because everyone knows leprechauns and unicorns don't exist. But what if say a large group of people started to believe that unicorns exist? I mean cults believe lots of wacky shit so it's not beyond the realms of possibility. So they start their group and they call it, oh I don't know off the top of my head, unicornatologists. And well some cults have gotten real goddamn big. So big that people are kind of not allowed to call them cults anymore. And everyone has to pretend the unicornatologists are just as valid as any other religion. Which now that I've said it out loud I'm okay with that but yeah. They are now big and powerful with lots of money because that's what always happens. And they go out of their way to make political change to conform with their stupid fucking beliefs and constantly try to, oh I don't know, evangelize to people about the grand unicorn in the sky that wants everyone to subsist on nothing but candy. Some people might take exception to that. They might even argue against all the shit they say. Does that mean that they suddenly believe that unicorns are real? Or does it actually mean that you are a fucking idiot who has literally no idea what the hell is even going on? I'm pretty sure it's one of them. And so we don't create whole social clubs and organizations dedicated to letting little girls and little boys know that there's no such thing as unicorns. What the f what do kids have to do with this? I mean, sure, there are groups and media and the like for kids about atheism. Yeah, I'm sure that happens. But A, it's not actually something I hear about all that often. And B, if you have a problem with it, that sounds like hypocrisy to me. Wait, wait, I forgot. Hypocrisy is only okay when your lot is doing it. I always forget that rule. But yeah, it sounds like you're bringing up kids because, oh, won't somebody think of the children? And not because you have any legitimate arguments against atheism itself. Who would have thought an apology boy being a disingenuous idiot? Shonk. There's no such thing as leprechauns. This is why Santa Claus doesn't make half the people mad. We, we know he doesn't exist. How can you be this ignorant of the basic concepts you want to discuss and so confident in saying them? 
And did I just answer my own question? Yeah, I did. It's always the same. Idiot has stupid idea, thinks, that sounds good. And it sounds good because of how smart I am. Then put stupid idea on the internet to much praise and support from fellow idiots. Eventually, smart ass assholes turn up to make fun. And that, of course, just proves how right you are. Yeah, sure, he distracts from Jesus, but he doesn't exist. He's not real. <laughs> Wait a second. I have a cunning plan. A plan so cunning you could pin a tail to it and call it a fox. Jesus, he doesn't exist. He's not real. Ha <laughs> ha, you just said Jesus doesn't exist and isn't real. Hashtag pwned. Hashtag checkmate crimsbians. And we don't have organizations dedicated to spreading information about how it's not real, writing books about how they're not real, because they're not real, and we all know that. Are you sure you're real? Because you appear to be stuck in a feedback loop. Apparently, you said something so dumb that you short-circuited your robot brain and are now saying the same thing over and over again. I'm kidding, of course. Robots will never be this silly. And when they do take over, I for one will welcome our robot overlords. Mostly because they don't drink whiskey and are in fact greatly damaged by it. Thus, we'll give it all to me, so it's win-win. The fact that you're mad at something, the fact that you're against something, is actually evidence that it exists. Absolutely. Categorically false. In many, many ways. First off, being angry at something and being opposed to an idea, not the same thing, and associating them like that is slimy bullshit. And by that asinine logic, now suddenly a million and one fictional characters have become real people because, by brain-dead logic, the fact that people will often dislike these characters, well, they now must be real because someone doesn't like them. Yeah, not how that works, you goofy bastard. Uh, which is kind of hysterical backfire for the whole atheist worldview. Yes, of course, it's funny that we don't think a thing you decided we think for no reason mostly because of idiot. That's the funny part, not the fact that you pulled this really silly straw man out of your asshole and are now waving it about, thinking that all the atheists are trying to get away from you because of how embarrassed they are by your ownage and not because your straw man reeks of shit. Uh, they wouldn't be upset about this. Uh, they wouldn't be talking about this if it wasn't real. So that's a really fun fact to start your day off with. The reason they're mad about it. Not mad. And you are an idiot. I mean, seriously, does this mean that you believe in every god from every religion? Because if I were to come up to you evangelizing on whatever ideology, and you were to dare to disagree, that would immediately make you a believer. That, or maybe whenever you hear a new idea, do you just cover up your ears and run away to make sure that you don't have to tell them that you don't believe it and thus immediately do believe it? Because honestly, I can see that happening in your case. How else could someone be this fucking ignorant after all? And the reason I say that atheists are mad at God, that they don't believe in him? Um, I can guess. Is it because someone told you that one time and you thought, Oh, thank God. For a minute there, I was thinking that atheists had many complex and involved reasons for not believing that are hard to argue against. But thankfully, it's just some simple-minded, stupid bullshit reason that's easy to argue against. So now I don't have to do any thinking myself. Hooray! What they're essentially trying to do is get back at God for their, for, for not doing things the way they want. Wow. Just wow. There's, there's so much wrong about that. Are you trying to break a personal record or something? I mean, just in this video alone, this bit is definitely gunning for first place in wrongitude. Damn. Like the idea of saying that I'm mad because God doesn't do things how I want. That's you saying that you know what God wants. I'm pretty sure you aren't supposed to do that. And even if it was okay to, how the hell do you even know? Is God telling you? Is this God person in the room with us right now? To most people, when you talk to them about God and you're like, well, hey, why don't you believe in God? Here's how that conversation will go 90% of the time. Well, considering that less than 7% of the world's population are atheistic, agnostic, anti-theist or whatever, with most people, it'll go, actually, yeah, I do believe in God. Now, 
depending where you are or who you are talking to, they might not mean the same thing. But if this is anything other than that as an answer, I'm going to start getting the impression that you don't really know what you are talking about. Well, if God was so good, why do bad things happen? So either he's not good or he's not powerful. Have you spoken to any atheist ever? Don't answer that. You already kind of did with that statement. Most atheists are going to have a lot of different answers, but a lot of those are going to be along the theme of for ex-theists, well, XYZ thing didn't make sense to me, and the more I thought about it, the more things didn't make sense until I realized I no longer believe. And for people who were never believer boys, I've never been convinced of XYZ thing, so why would I believe the big one thing that those are supposed to be supporting? Also, this God am let bad things happen is just one of many, many, many things that one might say. And frankly, I've never heard a rebuttal to that that makes actual sense when set against an all-loving all-power man, mostly because of actual logic. What they do is they hit you with the problem of evil. Uh, philosophical conundrum for a good while. If God is love, if God is good, if God is powerful, why do bad things happen in the world? I mean, yeah, that's one thing. A big problem for your lot, and I have yet to hear an answer that actually makes sense and actually addresses the problem. Instead, they usually try to skirt around it in order to make you think that they answered it, but usually it just adds more problems to the whole thing. Let's see what the extremely smart guy with the big brain comes up with. There are a lot of answers to that. Uh, my favorite being that God is using man's sinfulness to display his glory and love for us in an even brighter way. Holy shit. Are you serious? You just made it way worse. There's so much. Again. Okay, let's try to quick fire this then. God made man. He made man with a sinful nature on purpose, thus creating more evil. Big oof. And he did that thing that makes the world a worse place so that you would think that he's an even better guy. Even though he was the one that created all of that evil. Bigger oof. And worst of all, he created you to make this really, really silly video to try and get atheists to believe in God. And frankly, that's the biggest oof of them all. You can't see light if there's no such thing as darkness. There's an equal and opposite thing for everything. That's one of my favorite answers for the problem of evil. Oh, cool. It gets worse. You can't see light if there's no darkness. What? That's, that's like the opposite of how that works? What a horrible analogy. And not in a fun, really gross way like I would do, but in a no, you can't see shadows without light. But you don't need darkness for light to work. That's how seeing, you know works. I mean, till now, I've mostly been being a dick, but I think this guy might actually be genuinely kind of dumb. We can go into depth into that more, but atheists are angry at God for not doing things the way they want them done. No, my dude, we aren't angry. We're just exasperated at morons telling us what we think and why, without actually asking us, and then being surprised when we call them f***ing idiots and point out all the dumb things that they've said. Maybe if you stop doing that, we might might stop calling you out for it. And you might not feel so angered at anymore. Not that you will do any of this, but you can't say we didn't try. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, Check out Mrs. Six's channel, Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships, and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-